third down. They go to Dickerson. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing is Jackson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. And that is something that we just saw there that you obviously have to be prepared for when you try to defend Lamar Jackson. That likely will not be the last time that we see him take off. I love your language there, partner. You have to be prepared for it. You work at it. But I don't care how much you prepare, it is hard as heck to execute against Lamar Jackson. Great vision, great speed, tenacity, runs through tackles, makes people miss. It's always a long game when you're trying to corral Lamar Jackson. And take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Eric Dickerson, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens are on the board first here this afternoon. It's not often you talk about statement drives coming right at the start of the game, but that was some statement there. That drive took them the length of the field, and as I look at the clock, ate up nearly the entire first quarter as well. Great work up front, clearing space, and an ideal finish on the touchdown run. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Breeze now on first down. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. To throw is Breeze. Finding Pickens for another catch. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I like that one, partner. They go back-to-back -back with excellent gains, and really it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Bree's going to throw. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Marie's now on first down. And this will be swung out here for counter. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Now Breeze, you can tell, he wants to audible. Connor is into the end zone. Touchdown Miami. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it, and he gets it done. Anders Carlson now for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Hester to return from his end zone. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now it's Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Fourth down, here's Jackson. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Breeze to throw. And this will be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. There's Breeze. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Miller. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I like the thought process. I like the design, but I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're going to run that drag route, you've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Ravens are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone, and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage and they picked that one off. They work now on second and nine. To throw is Jackson. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 35. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Inside handoff, Henry. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it. Most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Here's a second and five. Jackson. Taking it in over the middle. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in a field goal range down at the 27-yard line. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. You see that?
Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. This is caught by Evans. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Now it's Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Jordan Reed in the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's what you created with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And we'll still have time for one play before the half as this will be fair caught and brought out to the 25. The final shot before half for Breeze. Looking downfield for Jones. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. The fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Back to the air on second down. It's Breeze. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Breeze. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A pickup of 27. And they pick up the first down in the process. A give running right is counter. He'll take this to the 46. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Two yards on the pickup. Connor going to get it again on second down. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Bree's going to move them around here. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 33. 
counter up the middle. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Now Breeze. Looking deep for Julio. And Breeze is intercepted for the third time. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And he'll get this back across the midfield, striping down to the 47-yard line. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team is struggling to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. Dickerson on the handoff. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Jackson now. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, and the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's Pat McAfee now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this one will sail out of bounds. It will depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. On second down, here's Breeze. This one complete to Jordan Reed. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25. First target, first catch, and a first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. On play action, now Breeze. And he's able to find Miller. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Breeze now to throw. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The drive continues as they search for a time touchdown. Here's first and 10. They run behind center with Cotter. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. 
number six. Brings up second and four. Now Breeze. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. On play action, it's Breeze. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Well, Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before. And right now, after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offense coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field. So play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more. But a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. A short little throw taken in by Reed. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand. And they'll take that. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll run now with Dickerson. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. A tight game like this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell them to take care of the ball and try to move forward. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Caught on the right side, Reed. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. This is first and ten. This is Connor running right. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Here comes second down. Bree's going to throw. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. They'll run here with Connor. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Here now, second and goal. Now Breeze, you can tell he wants the audible. Again, it'll be Connor. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on, and that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they work this well on field across the 45. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A carry for Dickerson. 
And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw, out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers, but a quick slam or something like that. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguess themselves a little bit. Third down, seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. Forty-four on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. You need to give the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you're just holding a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin him inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. Breeze to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And now time is a giant issue. That would have been important to maybe get you in the Hail Mary range. But this defense is certainly going to make it tough. And that's going to fall incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Back to throw Breeze. That's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to Makes score, Ravens 21, Dolphins 7. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Ready up! They'll come up first and 10 here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. One final try here for Breeze. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And that will write a finish to this ballgame. 
So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I mean, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll just 